Hey guys, Angie here with AngieGensler.com and I am sitting in my basement on a Sunday afternoon. I have not done my hair or makeup, but you know what? That's okay. I wanted to create a quick video for you and to teach you how to create social media images. Now I'm going to walk you through um, a really quick tutorial on how to use a free tool that I use and love. It's canva.com and it is a free design, online design software and you can create your own social media images really easy with this tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And, but before we get started, I just want to quickly address. So you have got to have social media images when you are making posts. So if you are just posting text, which of course, you know, you can't even do on Instagram, but if you're just posting text on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, you're not going to get the clicks, the likes, the comments, the shares, the engagement that you are looking for. So you need to make sure that every single one of your posts has either a video or a gorgeous, compelling, engaging image that draws the attention to your post. So people will engage with it, comment, share it, like it, whatever that is. So even if you are not a graphic designer, you have no design experience, you're very uncomfortable with design, Canva has some great resources that allows you to create gorgeous images uh, from scratch right from the beginning. So let's jump into Canva and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so to get started, I want you to go to canva.com and then once you're there, you can, you'll see this first little spot, create a design. Now, I already have an account, so I didn't have to go through that process. If you don't have an account, you can create a free account um, to get going at Canva, which is really great. So um, first, let me hide that. Okay, so to get started, they have a lot of, you know, pre-made templates in the right dimensions already for you, which is really great. So you can see they have them specific for social media posts, um, documents, blogging, marketing materials. We're going to focus on social media posts and I'm just going to make, I like to default to this 800 by 800 pixel image. That is the ideal size for Instagram, but it also works good in Facebook, in Twitter, in LinkedIn. So you can use it on all the other platforms. So just click on that. And then here's the beauty of Canva. They already have a ton of pre-designed layouts and templates for you. So I would recommend just start scrolling through here and see if something catches your eye. See if there is something that inspires you, excites you. Maybe you find something that kind of fits your brand image. Uh, your style. I always love this image. I think it's, it's just really catchy and eye catching and beautiful, but you can go through some of these and, you know, see if you can find something that you really like. Now let's say you don't find something you like and let's start from scratch. So I'm going to delete all this off of here and get a blank canvas. Okay. So now we have this blank canvas and let's start with the background. So you can click there and you can create, you know, and you can create your own color. Um, I have the premium version of Canva, so it allows me to have my brand colors loaded, which is a huge time saver. Um, but if not, you know, then you can just use this default palette and then you can customize. So if you know your brand color, um, you click on the little plus sign and you can put in your hex code, your brand color hex code, and you can get a custom color there. So that's an easy way to get in your own custom colors, or they have a default palette here that you can choose from. But so I'm just gonna choose this blue background color, and then I wanna add some text to this image. And they've got a few different you know, text boxes that you can choose from, but it really doesn't matter because you can customize them completely however you want. You can use your own fonts, change the size. Um, the other thing is, I mean, there's a lot of great fonts preloaded in here, but you can also upload your own font. So if you have a very specific brand font, you can upload that yourself. 
Um, you can change the size. You, some of the fonts, you can make them bold, but this one's already super bold, so you can't. Some you can italicize. I can make them all caps or not. Um, I can do left justified, right, centered. Um, there's a lot of great things I can do. I can also increase the spacing in between each letter. I can reduce the spacing between the letters. So there's a lot that I can do. And now let's see, okay, now that it's two lines, I also wanna show you the line height. I can decrease the line height, increase it. There's a lot of neat customization that you can do within Canva. So I definitely recommend coming in here and maybe spending 30 minutes just kind of playing around with a lot of these capabilities that it has. Um, but let's get back into creating our image. So I've got a text box in here, but you know, what do you even put in your textbook when you're creating an image? Now, if you are struggling with even what to post on social media, I highly recommend getting my uh, 2018 social media content calendar. So this is a screenshot of January, but it's January all through December. It's 12 months and every single day there is a different prompt of what you should post on social media that day. And I've even loaded in every single major US holiday. I have some fun national days like clean off your desk day. And each one of these days tells you essentially what you should be posting. So you can take this calendar and you can look at a day and say, okay, on this day, I'm gonna ask a question. What was the last thing you got really excited about? So then you can go in here and you can type that in, you know, what? last thing you got really excited about. Okay, and I'm gonna change that font because it just, it's a little crazy, it's hard to read. And let's do that one, let's shrink it down a little bit. And then I'm also gonna mess with the spacing because see how that D and the G are kind of touching? We're gonna mess with that a little bit. There we go, that looks a lot better. But now this image is still pretty kind of bland, really boring, so there's some embellishments that you can also add. So Canva has, you can choose photos, there's some different uh, frames, illustrations, and shapes, icons, there's a lot of neat things. So again, I highly recommend just coming in here and kind of playing around with some of the different things that you can pull from. But I really like using the frames feature and I'm, we're going to scroll down to find the ones without this little cloud image. That's saying that a photo needs to go in the frame, and we don't have a photo right now. So I'm going to find these blank frames, and let's just choose this one. And you can move them around and customize them to the size, which is also, again, really nice. And I can play with the color of it. And then one thing I want to point out that I didn't show you on the text is when you're moving around, moving these around, you'll see some little uh, grids. So I, we just saw it look right in the center of the image and you'll see a little purple pink line. Did you see it there? There it is. So that tells me that this is centered. And so now let's see if I can get that line going the other way, going up and down center. There we go. So see that cross line? That's telling me it is centered you know, both ways. And then I'm gonna change the color of this border. So you click over here to change the color and I can choose that white. Or again, if I wanna customize, pick a totally different color, I can click on that plus. I can play around. I can put in a certain hex code that I want, but I'm just gonna keep it white. And then the other neat thing that I can do is I want to add my logo on here. So you can upload images and you would just click upload your own image. Uh, I already have my logo uploaded and it's a PNG. Now this logo is not going to work because I'm using, you know, this blue background and my name's going to get lost in there. But you can see, you know, if you have a logo that works and again, you can see that line where it's telling me, okay, you're centered, which is really helpful. Um, so there's that logo in there. Now I don't want to use that because it doesn't work with this background. So instead I'm just going to add in my website name and I'm going to throw it in the bottom. We're going to do, I'm going to do it that way, angiegenzer.com. And then I actually always use Oswald 
So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose a different font. There we go. Don't want that bolded. I'm going to make it a little smaller so you can see you can really customize this however you like. Now, I also want to point out, so that question that I had in there, um, that was pulled from a post that I recently created. It's 65 uh, social media questions to increase engagement. And through all my years of managing social media uh, channels for the companies I work for, I've noticed that questions bring in by far the most engagement on my channels. And so I put together this post of the 65 questions that I found really get people engaged and get them commenting. So you can download a swipe file from that blog post that has those 65 questions. They're all in this Excel spreadsheet. And then you can take each question, you can copy it, and then you can paste it into Canva and you can create your own images. Now, the other thing that you can also do, so creating 65 of those and customizing them and trying to learn Canva and figure it out and create something that looks good and eye-catching and compelling on social media, it does take a lot of time. You know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. <laughs> it's getting in here and figuring this out if you're not real comfortable with design can be a little overwhelming. So I do have another solution for you. If you're not comfortable designing all of those images yourself, what you can do is you can purchase done for you images. So I have already styled and designed all of those 65 questions into images. And I've done them in three different styles to kind of fit your brand and your personality. So I have one that's black with white text one that's white with black text, and then one that is these beautiful images that really relate to the question. So are you a cat or dog lover? It's got a cat and a dog cuddling on there. Uh, so each, so you re receive 195 total JPEG images. So it's 65 of this black with white, 65 of the white with black, and then 65 of the um, images with the white text and this border on them. Um, and you guys, you can grab those for just $19. So those images are done. They're styled for you. You don't have to spend the time, um, the amount of time, honestly, it would take you to design your social media images with those 65 questions would be hours. And I know because I, that's how long it took me. So, but you can grab those for $19. Um, and there you have it. Now I do want to show you really quick before I leave you now. I do want to mention, so you see this one had an image in the background. In case you're wondering, you know, how did you even get that there? I'm going to show you really quick. If you click in this search bar, I'm just going to type in mountain. And you can see there are a ton of mountain images. Canva has a lot of free stock photos already loaded. And I actually get the majority of my stock images from Canva. And that way I'm not having to dig around to millions of stock image sites because I have so many great stock photos here. Um, and so I'm just going to grab this mountain photo and I'm going to bring it up here so that I can drag it down and expand it to the whole canvas. And here's the cool thing. So you can see right now it's just over it, but if I have it, so it's filling the entire canvas, it will lock into place and drop in behind the other elements I have, which is really cool. And then, you know, now this image doesn't really lend well to having this text because it's too busy. But I just wanted to show you, how do you even add an image? Um, then you could add an overlay on here, or you could, if you click on the image, you can put a filter on it, just like you would with Instagram. Um, if there's a certain kind of filter you like to use for your brand, you could do that. Um, so there's a lot of customization that you can do with these, which is really great. So um, if you like design and you, you know, this seems fun to you, I highly encourage you to jump into Canva, play around style your own images, make sure you're using images on social media. And then if you need a little more help and want to save some time, um, I definitely recommend grabbing a copy of my social media content calendar and then getting uh, your hands on those 195 images to save you a lot of time um, in your design work. So I hope you guys found this video helpful.